and welcome to a tutorial on how to make a Minecraft thumbnail on ScreenFlow Mac. Now all you need for this tutorial is Preview which is built into your Mac and it is always there and a little program called ScreenFlow. This will work with the demo or full version of ScreenFlow so don't need to fear if you don't want to purchase the full version. This tutorial will allow you to create objects or thumbnails as we call them on Mac easy like this one right here. Also have another example of what you can produce with this thumbnail right here. So I did quite a while ago make a tutorial about a year ago on how to do this but I'm just going to update it because I've learned a lot from it. So all you can do is you can head over to Nova Skins if you don't have Cinema 4D and you don't have renders. Now for me I don't have Cinema 4D and I don't I use renders but my friend makes them. But if you guys don't have a friend that can make you, or you don't have Cinema 4D, then all you can do is head over to NovaSkins.com. All you need to do is type in NovaSkin in your Safari or browser, and you'll be directed to this page. All you need to do is put in your case-sensitive name, no, no, sorry, no punctuation issues, or it will not work. You can pick to wear any sort of item on the side here. I'll just pick a uniform for instance. And you can also pick a pose. My favourite pose would have to be the running man style. Yet I still don't use this process for my thumbnails at the moment. Because I have renders from my friends. But even if you do want to use no for skin still. You can just simply bend your right arms. Hold items or whatever you need. If you want to hold an item in your right hand or left hand, all you need to do is hover your mouse over this button and click an item. For this instance, I'm going to click a diamond sword. So, if you're happy with this and how it's looking, all you need to do is save up the top corner. I mean, sorry, photo. And if you find these grid lines here, all you need to do is simply click to the side of your character and it will be like this. If you're happy with this pose, then all you need to do is simply right click on your mouse and go to save image to downloads or save image as. I'm going to save image as for this thing. And I'm just going to call it lol. I just normally call them random names. Now if you have a friend that also wants to be involved in this thumbnail, you can simply just make another character and repeat the same process. But that's all I'm going to do for now. All you want to do is open up a new recording in ScreenFlow. I already have this one recording in ScreenFlow, so I'm going to have to make a file, new empty document, or you can actually start a recording and then delete the footage. I'll show you both ways. So if you just want to create a new document, you'll be brought up to this blank page. But if yet you still want to do it's the old way and you just want to start a new recording which I won't be able to do you can just simply go new recording wait the five seconds hover over here and delete all the footage you should be left with two footage which should be your audio and your background which is your screen so just simply delete them once you've deleted those you will be left with a new empty document and if you want a background, you can make these as complicated as you want. If you want to add more detail, then that's totally up for you. So if you want to go and we can get the Minecraft logo and simply just type in Minecraft, go to images. And basically you're looking for the all the pictures with transparent backgrounds. Otherwise, you're going to have to use alternative programs to take away the background. See these grid lines behind here? That means it's a transparent background. So all you need to do is right click and save image or download image. I'm going to download it into my downloads folder because that's the way I prefer. So now you have your Minecraft logo, you can simply drag it onto the top. Now the way that we use ScreenFlow is, or many other editing or graphic programs, is that at the top this will be what is over all the other pictures. So say here for example I have this picture over here as well, I'm just going to maximize this and because the Minecraft logo is sitting above this on the graph, then this will be underneath the picture. But say you want this picture over the top of the Minecraft logo. All you need to do is simply swap these two around and this will be above. So that's very simple. You can extend this, make it any size you wish, but I like to add that at the end. So let's say we want to make something like the other thumbnails I was showing you earlier. Basically, this is what I'm going to do. Let me drag that down below and I believe I might have a render already saved which I can use. 
Rangers do look more professional than what the others do, so I'm just going to use my friend's one that he sent me earlier, since it's made by Bads. And this is, I'll just show you a basic tutorial on how to do it. So we want the Minecraft logo behind, or I should say in front of the renders. I'm also going to grab my one as well, and say we can make a thumbnail for these. These aren't very good renders, for example, as they don't match each other, but this is just for an example. Say you have these two here, I'm actually going to delete my character as I don't feel that I like it as much. And if you think that this is too bright, you can lower the opacity down behind it and it will make your title more stand out. You can just basically put it in the middle, make sure it's in the center and you can go to your color, color, your color controls on the side here if you want to extend the brightness or you want to make it contrast and that will make it more stand out. Now for the background you might be asking, all you want to do is you want to find a basic Minecraft backdrop. So what you want to do is just type exactly what I said, backdrop, backdrop, Minecraft backdrop. And now you can just find a basic drop that you want, say I want this one, wait for it to load then click download image or save image as. Now you can just simply, oops, you can just take it out of your downloads, you can pop it behind. Make sure you always have your background images underneath your render and your logo on the side here. And I just recommend that you lower the opacity for the background so it's not overpowering, but yet you can still see it. Just like that. So now, I'm just going to lower this down a few because I want to pop some stuff in between these ones. So all I want to do is I might have some flares or something. So we have this black wave here. We can put this here and we can lower the opacity. So yet it still shows that flicker through it, but it's not overpowering and you can still see the background. So what's, I'll find some other stuff that we can add over it. And if for the instance, we can have this purple splatter. We can enlarge it and without doing the opacity, it's very bright and it's too overpowering and it doesn't look nice. So all you want to do is lower the opacity lower the opacity until it suits what you are looking for and then basically if you have any other program you can add text features or anything like that for instance you can use GIMP which is comes that you can get free on the Mac or you can use websites such as like font websites fonts so as you want to type is this font and you can find websites on there for some fonts to so say you want factions I already have one pre-done so I won't need it myself but if you guys are looking to add text to yours you can simply do that as well but I'm just going to use this font right here that I already have planned and you just want to pop it over the background but in the middle so it's over the words this color isn't very good for this um, thumbnail but it's just for an example so say here you have your actual render over the top of your thumbnail so what you want to do is locate your render and you just want to drag the rest down so that your render is over the other ones so which is your render which is this one so you just want to add the text over the render so then it goes over the top like that so that's a basic thumbnail for you guys and once you're happy you can add your numbers in the corner, whatever you want. I'm going to leave our font website that's free in the description below if you want some cool font. Or you can just download GIMP which will also be in the description below. So you can add your page numbers, you can basically add any other features to the thumbnail, it's all in your imagination. So say you want to, I'll just do one last example for the backgrounds, so you just want to pop it in there in front of all your other features but not over your logo so just want to do this because there are different colors you just want to lower the opacity quite a lot because otherwise it'll be very overpowering but this is just not a very good thumbnail right now but as you can see it still looks very professional and the, if you get a render it's going to look better than your nova skins but of course it'll still look very good without it so once you're happy with that all you can do is go to file you can save and i'll just name it as thumbnail on your desktop now you can close this window, make sure you know where the location of it is and all you want to do is right click, open with other and you can go to your application section and then you can just scroll down until where it says preview. Preview comes on your Mac so no need to fear of downloading that. Now you can see all the layers that you've added to your screen flow. 
picture and right down the bottom you'll see your thumbnail. And all you want to do is go file, take screenshot from selection. You just want to highlight the area that you want to use and you just want to click. Now when saving this you want to make sure that it's under 2 megabytes right here. If it's under 2 megabytes then you can save it as a PNG but if it's over 2 megabytes please change it to a JPEG otherwise it will not work. But mine's only a 1.3 megabytes so I can leave it as a PNG. And I'm just going to save it as thumbnail again. And then just hit save. Now you can head over to where your my, um, your YouTube is, sorry, I have a already got a button that takes me there, so I can just click that. Oh, I'm at 460 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. All you want to do is go over to your section here. YouTube is updated, but you just need to go to your creator channel, studio, or you can go to your video manager, whatever version of YouTube you have. Now you must be a partner for this to work so please make sure that you are a partner with YouTube or any other company otherwise this will not work. Now when you have your video all you want to do is click edit and then it will bring you to this window and you just want to change image. Select the window of the screenshot you already taken which mine was thumbnail and simply just press continue or choose. This will upload it onto YouTube and then all you need to do is wait for that to load and click save changes. I'm not going to do it because that has nothing to do with what I'm doing right now but anyways guys thank you all for watching. If you have any questions please leave a comment down below. I will answer all questions and this is basically just an updated version of my last tutorial as it was very successful so thank you guys so much. Take care and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.